Hello again everybody. Welcome back to another episode of my YouTube channel. My name is Chris and welcome to another cooking rendezvous with yours truly. So today I am going to make turon. Turon is a popular Filipino snack and street food. These banana rolls are deep fried and dusted with brown sugar. Others uses cheddar cheese for their fillings. Some uses mango for theirs but I always prefer to use jackfruit or langka. So let's start by showing you how to properly cut the banana, the main ingredient for turon, and how to cook them the easy way. So let's start by showing you first the ingredients. So these are the ingredients, plantain. I always prefer to use the overripe plantain as they are softer and they're sweeter. Langka or jackfruit, sugar, and then the spring roll shell. So let's start by cutting the plantain first. And I wash my hands. Natanggal ko yung gitna para doon ko ilalagay sa gitna yung jackfruit. So, if you notice how they are so soft because they are overripe plantains so now let's start by bathing the plantain into a uh, into the sugar and then grab one of these and then Let's make the third one and then we're gonna start frying. So, let's slaughter this with the sugar. There's my turon ready to fry. So let's, so let's make another one. So the same process. Put the jackfruit in the middle and then bake this in sugar. Thank you. 
now just going to make three. So let's check if these are ready. They are. There we go. So I always make sure that when, they're done, when I'm done frying them, I place them in a brown bag so this paper would absorb the remaining oil. There you go. Look at that. So I think I'm ready to turn this off now. So there is my finished product. There's my turon with all its glory. Turon, turon, here I come. And of course, I am also blogging about the other Filipino foods that I have here, Filipino dish. I have dinuguan, I have minudo, and then, the amazing dinakdakan. Oh my goodness, these are all Filipino foods. But these three dishes here, I didn't make them. They're from my sister-in-law. So, but then the Turon, of course, I was the one who made this or cooked this. And the best accompaniment for turon is sago. This I made too. Tapioca pearls. That is one piece of heaven there. So now we're going to attack them or I'm going to attack them. There's my turon. Let's try the first. Look at that. Look how crunchy that is. There go. There's the lamka in the middle. So let's try it. so good. So there's my turon and I'm pairing turon with this sago that I made. Stapioca pearl. It's homemade too. I really miss the um, what I make in the Philippines. I remember when I was younger, when I used when I used to live in the Philippines many years ago. Every corner, especially in Manila, the streets of Manila, everywhere you go, there are always manangs who sell palamig 
or sagot ko lamang or um, turon or um, banana peel. Um, yes, this is so good and I hope um, I was able to impart a little bit of my know-how to make turon and I hope you guys out there enjoy my short video today. Before we go, let me try the dinakdakan. Dinakdas, dinakdakan is another Filipino favorite. But I think dinakdakan um, originated in the northern part of the Philippines. One of these days, I'm going to vlog about this too. I know how to make dinakdakan too. But this, uh, dinakdakan, I did not make this. Uh, this was given to us by my sister-in-law who is celebrating her birthday today. So, this my dinakdakan. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm. This is so good. Mm. I know how to make the knock but not this delicious. This is so good. Mm. This is the best enough luck I've ever that I ate. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice night, Philadelphians. And have a nice day, Monday. Have a nice Monday morning in the Philippines. It's already um, 7.57 Monday morning in the Philippines right now. Bye, everybody. Be kind to everyone. And thank you for watching.